Sherry Rulofson had just stopped at a farm stand and bought some flowers, something friends say she would often do. But what happened next is baffling to investigators and the 24-year-old who was in the truck that crashed into her car. The uh, other car uh, signaled and came into my lane. Peter Lopp is a horse trainer and emergency medical technician, but nothing could have prepared him for what happened today. He was heading home on Route 39 in Avon with a horse trailer in tow when he says a car pulled out right in front of him. I honked my horn. I uh, tried to avoid her, and it was I. At that moment, there, she was completely across the road, and there was nowhere I could have maneuvered my truck and horse trailer to avoid colliding with her vehicle. Lop's truck slammed into this car. And that struck two telephone poles, or her vehicle struck two telephone poles, and we came to rest in a field. The driver of the car was killed, and sheriff's investigators can't explain why it happened. There must have been some sort of error or some sort of um, issue of why uh, she came out into the roadway, into the path of travel of this vehicle. Um, it was a tragic accident because she's a local uh, person of our Geneseo community. Sergeant Doherty says Charlene Rulifson, known as Sherry, was the driver. She's a well-known real estate agent in Geneseo. She worked at this Nothnagel office in the village. Her daughter, who also lives in Geneseo, was too distraught to speak with us on camera. So were neighbors. Meanwhile, for this young man, it's hard to think about anything else. He's sad Rulifson died and wishes just one thing could have been different. I could have left where I was coming from five minutes later. Uh, I could have left five minutes earlier. Uh, I don't know that there's anything I could have done in preparing myself that's beyond just re-rolling the dice. Lop and his horse were shaken up, but they were not injured. Police are trying to determine if Rulofson may have suffered a medical condition. They're also investigating whether she may have been using the phone. We have learned speed is not a factor in this crash.